Right here, I've got my 4x8 sheet of 0 .040 high impact styrene. It's rather long, it is eight feet. This is going to be enough to do my skins for the arch. One side is glossy, the other side is matte, as you can see. So here are the tools we're going to use. I've got myself a ruler that I've got marked in the proper spot. I've got a straight edge and I've also got some digital calipers and of course my pencil. You want to use a clamp and hold down the ruler. Make sure you have your digital calipers set to where you want them. And I have this ruler set to the exact height that I need for the skins. Once we have our caliper set, we're going to lay out some basic lines here. I'm not going to show you this whole process, but I will show you briefly that I have labeled all the way down where I need my proper markings for each of the panels on the R2-D2. After I show you these, we are going to skip ahead into just showing you how to cut styrene in general. Right here we have the ruler marked. It looks a little funny, that's because these are going to be the back skins. We're going to show you how to actually draw out the skins in a later video. To cut the styrene, this is one way of doing it. You take your ruler, you put it on the line you're going to cut and lightly score it on all sides. After you're done scoring it, score it again, go a little bit deeper. I'm using a hot knife here, it is set to medium so that helps me a little bit. I don't have it set up too high because I don't want to burn through the plastic completely. As you can see, here I'm giving it another score. This one I'm actually cutting all the way through being careful that I don't, don't go too deep with that hot knife because otherwise it can melt the plastic a little bit. I'm going to go through this on all sides and this piece will simply pop right out when I do that. In case you're wondering, this particular part that I'm cutting is actually going to be the spot that holds one of the side vents for the R2-D2. I'm going through cutting the top, you can see it breaking apart there. The side is already cut and I just have to do this part right here, slowly go through with the hot knife and this piece is going to come right off. There we have it. On the next portion I'm going to show you right here. All we do, we score it a couple times and we lightly bend the styrene so you break through. We're going to bend it a little bit and then we'll take our thumb or whatever you have and just be careful and press down a little bit. You'll hear it popping in certain places and that means that it's breaking through the styrene. You want to be careful as you are doing this because the styrene can crack in certain places if you don't have it scored through all the way. Here you see I just bend it really hard and this is going to pop right out. That's going to actually be the bottom vent. Now we're going to cut out our circles. You can use your hot knife to do this, but I found it easier to use a pair of friction dividers. You place it where the radius is of this circle and you just slowly etch a line in that circular pattern. Be careful your friction dividers don't spread too much because it'll deviate that line and make it look funny. So just slowly score it until you feel it's deep enough. Make sure it is deep enough because if it isn't, you're going to crack the styrene and you'll see me do that here in a couple seconds. Here I'm just going around cutting the flat parts, making sure those are broke through just a little bit. I score those lightly. You don't have to go all the way through. Here you see me trying to break the styrene apart. You just lightly bend it as I've done in other places. Slowly using my thumb to press on that. In some places it comes right out and in some places it doesn't. If you do feel resistance, you can see right here, I crack this, which is never a good thing, and I don't like cracking styrene. And there's that crack, so I decided to use the knife just to score that a little bit more to prevent any further cracking, because that crack could spread and ruin the whole skin. So here we go, I'm just using my thumb, I'm going around the edge of that. You can lift up your styrene however you need to bend it a little bit, and then this piece will pop right out. Once this piece is popped out, we're going to do the circular portion, which is going to be for the shoulders. I use my friction dividers as well to do this, just lightly scoring this line. If it doesn't get scored deep enough, it's okay to use a knife to score it a little bit further, but this is a good way to get it started and stay right on track as those friction dividers stay in the same place in most cases. Just make sure you have your center points properly marked. So just keep going around this until it's scored. Here I'm getting my hot knife, that way I can just go through the ends and that can give me a better starting point for when I bend this so the styrene starts cracking in the spots that I want and breaking through. 
So just keep bending this and bending this and you'll see that styrene slowly start to give. And when it does, you can start popping this piece out and that's exactly what I do here. This one gave me a little bit of trouble so I did go over it with my knife a few times as well. I got better at it as time went on and you will too. Here I am going it over with the knife. I just score it a little bit deeper and this piece actually comes out a little bit easier. The bottom part there was a little bit tougher to get. Once I got that, the top part just kind of popped right out. So you know, you just kind of press lightly with this in certain spots. Remember, you don't want to go too hard because you can crack that siren as I showed you before. We definitely don't want to do that because I would hate to see you waste a whole skin doing that because it takes a lot to draw these out because that's what I did. This is the first steps in cutting. As always, if you like our videos and you want the quickest updates, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching and look for our next video on cutting styrene skins.